Michael Schumacher has won the Spanish Grand Prix, but that Ferrari certainly didn't blow the rest away. Confirmation of the result then, Schumacher 10 points. Fernando Alonso 8, Rubens Barrichello 3rd on 6 points. Montoya 4th, Ralph Schumacher 5th. Uh, the Williams will settle for that after the weekend they've had so far. Damata scoring Toyota's first points. Weber scoring Jaguar's first points. And Ralph Furman scoring the first point of his F1 career. Tony, let's check out the start, shall we, first of all. And um, a fair bit happened and one or two casualties. Yeah, had big casualties towards the back, but along, Alonso, the start there, that launch control of Tad Chapsky, the electronics expert at Renault, working beautifully. He just got boxed in behind Michael Schumacher, who was holding the inside line, and then got retaken again by Rubens Barrichello, who touched Michael Schumacher, very naughty, and then going off behind there, you see Coulthard and Truly tangling, but at the back, that was the big drama, as we saw. That was Panis getting in the way there from the third row, but uh, Raikkonen has hit the back. You see that look? He has, he, he fainted to the left to try and go through the Menardis. Nowhere to go, goes to the right. There's Pitsonia with his traction control and launch control system failing as it did for both Jaguars in Imola. And poor old Antonio, who's having a tough time anyway, trying to keep his job. There he is out of the Grand Prix and he's hardly moved. Absolutely, we're not sure if we're going to see Antonio Pizzonia in Austria in a couple of weeks' time. We're certainly going to see Ralph Furman there, though, in the Jordan. Ralph joining us now. Hi, Ralph. It's Jim Rosenthal in the ITV studio. First of all, uh, many congratulations at the first point of your F1 career. What's it mean to you? Uh, thank you very much. Obviously, it's absolutely brilliant for the team. And uh, to get myself on the scoreboard, it's been an incredible weekend from start to finish. It's starting to go really well. I think it's fair to say that uh, you've benefited by knowing this circuit as opposed to the other circuits you've raced on so far this year. Certainly it makes a big difference. You come back here and you've had two days of testing here in the dry and uh, you can start from the setup from the first lap you're out there. So it's, it's been brilliant and uh, the race went really well. Um, had a really good second stint but then unfortunately on the third stint got held up by Ralph Schumacher who I think had run off and damaged his car. But I mean the boys and the team have done an excellent job and we're working hard and uh, really thanks to them. We saw a fair scrap uh, with you and Jensen Button for the final point. Yeah, I mean, at the end of the race, where the, the two battling in front of me holding me up a bit through the last corner, uh, it was difficult to keep Jensen behind. It was a lot quicker on the straight, but uh, it, I think he had a problem at the end, so it was made a lot easier. We've been talking about Antonio Pizzonia and the problems he's having at Jaguar. How hard is it to uh, find your feet in the heavy water of F1? It's an incredibly tough and uh, much harder than I expected, but uh, it's going really well. With the limited testing I've had, uh, I'm slowly building up and uh, it's going to take a few more races. I've still got a lot more speed in me, so looking forward to, looking forward to the next race in uh, Austria. We appreciate you joining us. Very well done today. Let's hope it's the first point of many. Thank you very much. Okay, first uh, F1 point then for Ralph Furman. I think we can go now to the press conference. Better than last year, anyway, for Rubens Barrichello. How about that instant, David Coulthard and Jensen Button, Tony? Well, David had to go for it from his grid position, but I have to say he was pretty ragged. He was coming from round the outside there to say he hadn't seen Button at all. It's a bit curious to me. That ruined his race, and it spoiled Jensen Button's race as well, and Jensen had just come out of the pits there very early, lap 16, 17, when this all occurred. So David threw it away. Raikkonen was already out. No points for McLaren. That was uh, pretty bad for them today. Ralph Schumacher held up uh, brother Michael and also Alonso. I reckon they'd be cursing him a bit. Well, because Michael, after his pit stop, had come out fourth, he needed to get past his brother. If you remember in 2000, the brothers scrapped here. And Michael Schumacher lost out, and he dropped down to fifth in the very last lap, letting Rubens Barrichello through onto the podium as well. Alonso was then coming through. He had to deal with Ralph Schumacher. Ralph was hanging on to an absolutely awful Williams BMW. Look at it. It was locking up brakes. It was sliding all over the place. An absolute mystery tour for the German driver. But Alonso, once there, Ralph makes a mistake. He was through and past him. <laughs> Look at Ralph there. <laughs> so a huge cloud of dust. He was in trouble. Absolutely. We've got a text uh, question for you, Tony. It comes from Phil Halsley. Uh, Justin Wilson's head, uh, the old flying giraffe, isn't he? Looks high in the car. Is he <laughs> as safe as the others who look a fair bit lower? You should see him drinking water. <laughs> <laughs> but, uh, no, they have worked, the Minardi boys have worked very, very hard at making sure that he fits into the car. They've extended inside the monocoque. He is comfortable, but his bottom sits very, very low to accommodate his head, and it is inside the rollover hoop, so he is quite safe, although his head is higher than most. And he drove well today. 
for me, he was, Alonso was the, the man of the race for me, undoubtedly brilliant, but, but Wilson was very close behind. What a start, and that was a manual start. Mm. There was no launch control on that Minardi, by the way. Okay, Tony, thank you very much indeed. Well, later tonight here on ITV1, we have an extra premiership show, and the destination of the title could be decided today. Arsenal leads at 10.45. Meantime, Tuesday night, we go live with the Champions League semi-final. <laughs> They are terrific. At Real Juventus, Tuesday, 7.30, ITV1. Catch the highlights of the Spanish Grand Prix tonight, 11.45. That show repeated tomorrow evening, ITV2 at 6. Next stop for us in a fortnight, the Austrian Grand Prix. And we have the full service for you throughout the weekend. And we start with qualifying one right here on the Friday night. Beautiful car is a winning car. That's the Ferrari slogan. They have been the Eurostars so far in F1 2003. But for me, all the glory this weekend goes to Fernando Alonso. Bye-bye. One on ITV, sponsored by Toyota. If you'd like to know more about Formula One, the website address sponsored by Toyota is ITV.